On this episode, Sam's back and I clean again. Alright guys, today we're back for part two with Samantha from the Organized Cleaning Specialist and we're going to talk about the kitchen. So last episode we talked about uh, the floors yes, we and did. now we're in the kitchen. Where I like to be for cooking, not for cleaning, but we're here. We're going to talk cleaning today. So Sam's going to go over the product and cleaning the kitchen. So, Sam. Awesome. Hello again. Thanks for having me. No worries. Okay. So, you know when you're cleaning bench tops or anything, we spray and wipe. Um, unless you spray and you let it dissolve into the, into the bacteria and then wipe it, that's when you're cleaning your bench top. Just be aware that when you're spraying the spray wipe on the bench top, that as it's sinking in, it's also evaporating and you're also breathing it in, into your skin and blah, blah, blah. So if you don't like to use chemicals and you're trying to look for a different way out, I've just started using this in my own personal home. Um, amazing, amazing product, let me tell you. So you've got, this is, um, is a kitchen glove. So do you, you want to zoom it on? Yeah. Zoom it in. <laughs> So you've got, this is a side for all the rough stuff. So you'll see these little black, um, it's all non-scratch. You can use it on anything and it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect anything. And then you've got this side, which is for the awesome greasy stuff. So basically what happens is, Daniel just finished cooking for his beautiful wife and his family. Good meal, by the way. Totally. But... And then what, you, what would happen is you would get your, you would just put, massage some water into the ends of your of your fight of your of your glove put it on so you you, you learn to flick not to see I, I just started using your right so I don't even know how to flick but um you learn to flick really easily flip it flip, oh, flip. okay so you've got your water on it you you just turn it like this and make sure so the water just comes a bit through it all and then if you've got some thick stuff going on here just wipe it if it's finger marks or butter or oil, you would use this side, the, 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 um, the soft side. So you would literally just wipe this off. And if it's getting a bit dry, you just put some more water in it again. And the same thing. So it's really just still all wet. Then you can put some more water on. So you can do splashbacks as well. Totally. Yeah. You do, if it's oily and it's got some food and stuff stuck to it, you would use this side, if not the other side. Okay, so the, th the hard side gets all the... Chunky you know, stuff. Does the hard work. Totally, yeah. and the soft side. Um, now this is a product you would use after you've cleaned your home and it's like new and you're maintaining it. So this will keep it new. Um, so you'll do your splashback, your bench top, stove top, splashback, front of oven, anything in the kitchen with this one glove. Then once that's done, you've got this one. This is... Like a, it's called the kitchen miracle, I'm pretty sure. And then basically you will just wipe this off. Wipe, it's super, super absorbent, super absorbent. So you'd wipe all your, everything down that's dry. There is um, a bling miracle, which I've actually left behind. But if there's still smears at all, you would use your bling miracle and you're guaranteed to have no smears left. I use it in my, my nine year old daughter cleans my kitchen like my girls clean our clients. I'm so starting to get worried now because you're actually making it sound really, really easy. And, it and, is so and, easy. You know, just throw a glove on and you start wiping away. But, Literally. um, yeah, it actually scares me. I don't like, so I'm, I'm happy to cook, <laughs> but I'm, I'm not really um, interested on the cleaning side. <laughs> all right, so that, that's great. Um, thanks for um, telling us all that, Pleasure. all that sort of stuff. Guys, if you're actually like me that enjoy cooking a lot more than you do cleaning, um, you know, you can get in contact with Sam and her whole team can take care of all this for you. Is that right? Totally. So what I'll do in the comments below, there'll be links here to get in contact with Samantha. If you want any other sort of tips, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you know anyone that just doesn't really want to clean, tag them because Sam and her team can definitely come in and help you. We would be more than happy to. All right. Thanks for joining me today, Sam. Thanks so much for having me. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye, Bye for now.